have the match at WrestleMania 19 with Brock, and you know, you're injured, he gets injured. Finally, I f***ing main event WrestleMania. <laughs> it's about time. Um, but then you guys go on to work together a lot that year. You know, you put the thing on Instagram recently about the backstage clip with you and him and you drinking the milk and he hits your back and it goes all over the girl. Um, and you have the Iron Man match. You guys wrestle at SummerSlam. How, where, do, where does that series of matches for you rank in your career? Well, to be honest with you, it was my second favorite program. My first favorite was with Stone Cold. But I really loved the angle I had with Brock, the program. Um, you know, Brock is an incredible athlete. Uh, what he's been able to do in every sport that he plays, I mean, he's, he's literally the best at whatever he does. I mean, Brock is so talented that if he joined the NBA right now, he'd probably make it. I mean, <laughs> you know, what, he, what he's done, he went from the WWE uh, to the NFL, and he would have made it if he would have spent another year there. But he decided to quit. And uh, then he went to MMA and became UFC champion. And then he comes back to WWE and becomes WWE champion. I mean, that kid is so talented. It doesn't matter what he touches. Whatever he touches is going to turn to gold. Uh, that's how talented he is. Because when you guys worked together for most of 2003, he left like, not long after that, at that infamous WrestleMania 20 match with oh, Goldberg. Oh, the, 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 the torturous WrestleMania match with <laughs> Goldberg and Brock. <laughs> I mean, if you've got any memories of How that, would you do. like to be in that match <laughs> when every f fan in the arena is booing you and telling you you're f boring and go home? <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> oh. Were you surprised, though, that because he, he, was, he was on top, he was one of the top guys in the company, and he just decides, I don't want to do it anymore. Okay, this is what happened. We were in South Africa, and Brock comes up to me and says, hey, I hate traveling. I can't take this anymore. I can't travel overseas all the time. I like to be home. I like to hunt and fish. I'm like, well, Brock, you are a simple man. Um, <laughs> So he says, listen, I think what I'm going to do, I said, what are you going to do, Brock? He said, I'm going to try out for the NFL. I said, why are you going to do that? I said, you have a job with the WWE. He said, because I hate f traveling. And in the NFL, you only travel eight weeks of the year. So every weekend, you go to another city, and it's only eight times. The rest of the dates, I'll be at home fishing and hunting. So... Um, I said, okay. I said, when are you going to tell Vince? He said, I don't know. Uh, that's why I'm asking you. I said, well, I would tell him after WrestleMania. And Brock said, okay, why? I said, because you're going to have to do the f job at WrestleMania if you tell him you're quitting now. And you're wrestling Goldberg. If you want to win at WrestleMania, don't tell him till after WrestleMania. He goes, gotcha. We go back. We go straight to Raw. Or SmackDown. We were on SmackDown. And he goes up to Vince and says, Vince, I want to try out for the NFL. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, f man. He just f***ed himself. So next week is WrestleMania. And what happened? Brock Lesnar does the job against Goldberg. It would have been the other way if Brock would have smartened up. But he didn't because he's an idiot. <laughs>